Power Query has a range of available values, and sometimes it's useful to check whether a value is of a specific data type. However, the M language does not make it easy to check what type of value you're working with. In this video, I'll teach you how to test what type of value you're working with and to return that value as text. So when exactly is it useful to see what the data type is, but then as text, so it's easy to read. On the screen, I have a column that has text values only. But there are functions that can translate these into corresponding uh, data types. For example, the first row might be a number. There's a logical value here. There might be a date, date time, a duration, etc. Let's say we convert this to the relevant data types. The easiest way to do that is go to add column, custom column, and we can use a value from text on the column here. What this function does is it tries to convert a text value to a value that it recognizes. So I can call this a value from text, press OK. And what you will notice is that all of these values now are aligned differently. So doc stays the same because it's text, but all the others now align to the right. And that suggests that it's a data type that's different. Now, how can you test this? Most people will try the following. You could add a custom column. And then you could say, okay, value from text. Is that, for example, a date? There is the is operator here, and it tests for a data type. Now, if I test that and say, okay, you're going to find that it returns true only for row four. But then if I want to test it for the next one, I'd have to change that date test to a number, to a date time value, to a logical, and it's all going to be manual. That's not what we're going to want. Okay, so what's an alternative that we could try? Instead of testing for if it's a date, we could also return the data type. So what type of value do we have? The function value type is going to return the type of value we work with if we apply it on the value itself. If I press OK, you'll find that our column here now only returns us type values. Now what are type values? Those describe what type of value we're working with. What is the downside of this? If I want to inspect this, I need to click on the cell, wait for the review. And then over here, it tells me the first one is a number. The second one is a logical value. The third one is a null value. What is the downside of this? We still need to go through each and every step. That's also not something that we want to do. Now, here's the method that I want to show you. Instead of returning the value type in this way, Power Query actually has functions available that return you information about a table type or about a table. But since the table type is the easiest, let me show you what I mean. So the first step of getting our values is we're going to create some variables. I'm going to create a let statement here, or let's do a record. And the first value in my record is the type of value we have. Okay, we're going to go to the next line. And I'm going to store that value in a table type. So I could say type table, open square brackets and say my table has a column called column one. And the type of that column is type A, which is the result of this previous variable here. Okay, that's what our next step is. Then I can go to the final line here and return B. So you can see what the result is before we move on. So let me see. So each blah, 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 blah. So now we have a table type for each of these. So everywhere you will find that it shows type table. Still, this is hard to read. So our next step is to create a variable. And we want to get some information about the table type. We can do that by using type table schema on the table type from variable B. And if I return that, I'm going to return variable C here. I'm going to get a table with information. And this table, if we only look at the first value, contains a column called type name, which says number type on the first row. So that suggests that this value is of type number. The next one is of a logical type. The next one of a null type, etc. And there's a lot of information we could use here, but actually this is enough for now. Now, our next step is to return just a text value here that is given in the column called type name. So we're going to add a variable. And from variable C, which is the table that we have in preview, 
I'm going to open some square brackets and I want to return the values from the column called type name. That's what this would do. So if I return D, I'm going to get a list with all of the column values. And since we only have a single value in each of these columns, I can return the first value by opening the curly brackets and writing a zero for a zero based index. Press OK. Now you can see that each of these values shows us in a text form the type of value we're working with. Is this a lot of work? Yes. Is it something that most people would come up with naturally? Absolutely no. But the truth is, there are no easier ways to do that at this point. So if Microsoft ever introduces a function that returns what type of value we have, that would be great. But until then, if you ever want to return what type of value you're working with as a string, this is the way to go. If that type of logic is something you like and you want to learn more about the M language, I do recommend the definitive guide to Power Query M because we teach you the basics and then we move on to more of the intricacies of the M language. So if you like this, I hope you buy the book and then I hope to see you in the next video.